Okay, this video is about lubricating the little Hoyt Singer Featherweights. And these were made pre-1950, before after 1950, into the 60s. They're not as well made as the black ones were. Um, they run with a belt instead of more linkages, but uh, anyway, that, that's an opinion, and I should keep it as such. Now, I oiled this machine, and I did it with my other camera, and it uh, didn't come out well. So I am doing it again. The oil right there, that hole, down inside of there, right on there. See as that moves, you oil that camber. There's a hole right there, drop of oil there. That's it. For there, this just tightens with a screw. Right back in, move on down through. One drop, drop the oils. If you get more than one drop, it doesn't hurt anything. You're always hearing people talk about over oiling. Well, it's all metal. Just wipe it up. I put a drop here, 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 up here, right in here. Okay, I put a drop right there on that. Any part that moves where there's a friction point right here and here, some of the oil cans have an extension. If you get a little bit more in there than you need, you want some right there. And up here, there's a hole right there. That's it for the top of the machine. Okay, next we're going to thread it. We're going to do the bottom, show you that down there, and thread it up himself. This was just removed, you have to oil it, whoops, make sure that little arm is through there. Some people tell you to put it all the way up, doesn't really matter. Now, of course you always disconnect the power whenever you're working on one of these. You never leave the power on. With that foot up and no thread in it, I always give them a run. Let the oil work down in. You want to put a drop of oil on that bobbin wheel right there. Put that down. Let that spin around. There. That's it. So, we're looking at the bottom of the machine, tuning this machine up and greasing it. Um, one thing that featherweights, black or white, do not like is pieces of thread in the osculating hook. That's what this is right here. You'll step on a pedal and you watch it. See, that goes around and it's what... Well, I don't know if you can see that down in there or not. But down in there, where the end of that screwdriver is, but there's a bunch of old thread. That's got to come out because this machine was not stitching well at all. It had a very poor stitch and the thread would break. And I didn't have time to fool with it till now. Now I'm going to dig that out and then we'll show you. This machine is well oiled, but you oil here 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 just a touch just a bit here and here there's a hole and here and here you know any part that moves touch it with a little bit of oil where the where there's a friction you know where there's two pieces of steel working together just touch them with a little bit of lubrication well I'm gonna get that thread dug out of there I may have to take the hook out. I'm hoping I don't. It'd be nice if I didn't have to, but if I have to, I have to. I'll be back in a few. Okay, this job got a little bit more than I wanted to get into. See the thread that's tangled around there? That's what I was talking about earlier. Down in there. And I'm gonna get that cleaned out. And we'll put this back together. See where that one goes out? 
that was, that's why that machine would not stitch good. These little featherweights just don't handle a thread dram. Hopefully I can get that back in there the way it belongs. And we'll be back in business. Okay, now to thread it up, we'll start with a bobbin. Your bobbin case. Drop your bobbin in. Leave a tag, tag off your thread. And it'll go right into that groove right there. I don't, I don't know if the camera's picking that up. And you bring it all the way over until it goes under a little tension. I bring the thread out like that. Pull this cover up. Make sure the needle's up. Snap it in. Okay. Now, there again, doesn't make any difference. I usually run it from the back side of the spool over to here. I have to put my glasses on. And turn this light on. Throw it up around. Should be able to go in here. And I can't, so I'm not going to fiddle with it. Just as easy, just go right under here. I keep it into a little pair of scissors around for this, but a little screwdriver tip will work just as good. And bring it out. You can get a hold of it. Pull it right up until it goes in there. Down through spring up through here. Now bring your 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 hook arm all the way up. Right in there, right down through this eye. Oops, I missed one. Go through this one here in the front, this one here on the back. Now, I use these cheaters to thread with. This one threads direction right there and back to front just hold it and your finger bring it all the way up there again you use pointier scissors whatever bring them to the back that's all there is to threading it okay if it's a machine you haven't sewed with before set your tension at about six Plus or minus a little bit. Begin with. Uh, we'll set this just up a little bit. That's your stitch length and your reverse right there. You know, it's sewn too tight. I'm going to use two pieces of white fabric so we can see our stitch good. And uh, now put your needle down. Step on the pedal. We seem to be caught somewhere. She's not backing up as good as she should have. Jack's almost like um, maybe a little bit too much tension. Let's back her off a little bit. But anyway, you service one. Um, where's my scissors? I usually have scissors right here. Let me take this off while I find them. Okay, that's not too bad of a stitch there. That's kind of a basting stitch, but it's not too bad of a looking stitch. We shortened it up down there. That's bottom side, top side. Uh, we'll just take her up just a little bit. And, uh, she seems to be working pretty good. This is kind of a canvasy type material. So she'll go through two layers. Doesn't seem to be bothering it too bad. Some people think these little featherweights are really 
Um, okay, that's four layers of, it's white, but it's like a heavy denim. Okay, that's four layers. See, it had no problem sewing that at all. Nice stitch to it. No problem whatsoever. Um, I think I have a piece of leather somewhere here. Uh, I don't see it. But they certainly don't lack for power. And that's one, two, three, four layers of uh, denim. Or uh, almost a canvas. When you can hear it running slower. And I certainly don't advise doing that with a featherweight. That's six layers right there. You know, I wouldn't do that day in and out, day out. Once in a while, it's not going to hurt them. Not a bad little machine at all. Uh, I think the black ones are better. But that's it. It's sewing. And seems to be doing a fine job. Thanks for watching.